so it's the alveolar macrophages. These are the resident immune cells in the alveoli. They normally secrete proteases, including macrophage elastase, which can degrade elastin in the alveolar walls. And normally, this activity is tightly regulated by antiproteases like tissue inhibitors of metalloproteinase. But as you can imagine, if protease activity exceeds antiprotease capacity, then you get destruction of the alveolar septa and that causes emphysema. So what you need to know is that protease and antiprotease imbalance is central to emphysema pathogenesis. Cool, how does this relate to our guy over here? alpha-1 antitrypsin. Well, alpha-1 antitrypsin inhibits neutrophil elastase. So if you have this deficiency right here, then you get unchecked elastase, and that causes panacinar emphysema. They're going to try to confuse you with ciliated epithelium. Well, the function of that is just mucociliary clearance. It moves mucus and particles upward. That's all it does. What about club cells? They're going to try to get you with that one too. Well, club cells are found in the terminal bronchioles. They secrete mucin, they're located in the trachea and the bronchi, and they're absent from the alveoli. And then, of course, you're always going to see your type 1 and type 1 pneumocytes. These are thin squamous cells. They're involved in gas exchange. And type 2 pneumocytes secrete pulmonary surfactant. And they can regenerate type 1 cells. I feel like I'm explaining like a board game or something. Type 2 does this, type 1 does this. But basically, elastin-degradating proteases in normal alveolar fluid are produced primarily by alveolar macrophages. And excess activity is going to lead to emphysema when antiprotease defenses are going to fail. So that's a little bit about alpha-1 antitrypsin, a little bit about these high-yield cells, and a little bit about elastase and the macrophage of your lungs. We'll see you guys in the next video, like and sub.